We start things off with the first working level talks between South Korea and Japan over Tokyo's export curbs on high tech materials to South Korea, which took place on Friday. We connect to our business correspondent Kim Hye Sung on the line. Hye Sung, what's the agenda and how did the meeting go? Daniel, the meeting started at 2 p.m. at Tokyo's Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry and lasted for around six hours. This was, in fact, like you said, the first meeting between South Korean and Japanese officials since Tokyo's trade restrictions went into effect last week. Two working-level officials from Seoul's Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy and two Japanese counterparts sat down for talks. Seoul's trade ministry said just an hour ago that um, in the announcement said it expressed concerns that Tokyo's trade restrictions on three key high-tech materials that are used to produce chips and displays by South Korean companies would negatively hurt the global value chain. Tokyo said its export curbs do not violate WTO rules and said it's not a retaliation against South Korea's Supreme Court's ruling on wartime forced labor and said it's because of Seoul's lack of expert control on key strategic items, including hydrogen fluoride. It said it found cases of improper shipments, though it did not elaborate nor give further details on that statement and did not say specifically that it was ex exported to North Korea, as some Japanese media had reported. South Korea said its export control on strategic items is actually tighter than that of Japan. Take a listen to Yi Ho Hyun, Director General for International Trade Policy at Korea's Trade Ministry. South Korea's export control on strategic items is stronger than that of Japan. Japan's move of strengthening export control imposing restrictions just three days after an announcement that was based on no prior consultation with Seoul is improper. A review period of 90 days is concerning. The time period is uncertain and has an issue of transparency. So South Korea said it it has also proposed for more talks with Japan on Tokyo's export restrictions of certain high-tech materials by July 24th, as Japan is currently reviewing a, a new list of a new set of restrictions and is set to make its decision on removing South Korea from its export white list, which gives countries preferential treatment on trade by July 24th. Back to you, Daniel. All right, Hasan, thank you for that report. We appreciate it.